everybody. Welcome to church. We got about five minutes before the service starts, so here are some church appropriate dance moves you can do whenever the spirit moves you. So get on up and let's sweat to some scriptures. Or maybe not. Or just, just here we go. One, two, three, four. Make sure it's on the face. See it on the face. Yeah. Bring it together. Here we go. Let it go. You take the stone, you let it go. You're unhindered by armor. Let that elbow sway. Elbow, 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 elbow. Okay. One of my personal favorites. Resurrection. You gotta get down to get back. Yeah. Keep working, guys. Keep working. You're doing great. I'm doing great. I'm getting a little tired. We gotta stomp hard, stomp hard, stomp hard. You're crushing it, crushing it, crushing it. Yeah. Okay, good break there, good break. Good job, guys. Here we go, ready? Get that, get that whip going. Scare those tax collectors, those merchants. Merchants. Make sure you look afraid. And it's a salt. You look back and salt, salt, salt. I'm getting to it. You're doing great, everybody. I'm, oh, almost. Okay, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Two minutes, 30 seconds left. Here we go. Close again. One, two, three, four. Oh no, oh no. You got his blessing. Two minutes left. I want to go for the bucket. No, I'm not gonna be okay. okay. Sharp the knife. Ride the horse up the mountain with the knife. Put your boy in the back. Hoist it up. No, hoist it up. Abraham, no. Hoist it up. Abraham, no. One out of thirty guys. We can do this. Okay, this one's important. The meekness is important. All right, one minute, guys. We're doing great. Keep it meek, but then watch this. This is not meek. Coming at the end. Swords! Swords! Cut them on the enemy! Flame them! Flame them! Flame them! Yeah, you do it! This one's important too! We're just sowing the seeds! Here we go! Sower! Make sure you hit that! Fertile ground! Stay away from that! Watch your back. No, God's got it for you. Watch your back. No, God's got it for you. I don't know how much more I can do this. You're gonna have to take it for me. On the last push. Literally. Samson. Pushing the pillar. Okay, guys, we're gonna have to start. This is just start the toilet. Let's start. 
Well, good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to another week of Kids Life Online. Thank you so much for joining us. Today is week three of our series called Are You Scared? And man, I don't know about you, but I have really enjoyed the series this far. But before we learn more about what kind of fear we're going to bust this week, it is time to start our day the right way by praising and worshiping our God. So why don't you get to your feet spread out and let's give Jesus some praise. Let's go. Together. 
Well done, boys and girls. Where you standing? Let's quickly close our eyes in prayer. Let's pray. Dear Lord, we thank you for another week that you have blessed us with. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege to come together, unite as your children, and just give you all the glory, honor, and praise. We thank you, God, for being such a good, good father to us. May you be with us through this lesson, and we pray this, Jesus, in your beautiful name. Amen. Amen. Well done. You guys can take a seat. Now, like I said, today is week three of our series called Are You Scared? And man, today is going to be very interesting indeed. So get comfy, get seated, get a blankie, get a cup of tea, whatever you need. And let's check in with our friends at Connect HQ. Let's go. Glitter. Cattle. What? The, the person who invented glitter was a cattle rancher. Oh, okay. You go. Motherboard. Unboard. What? Whenever I tell my mother I'm bored, she tells me to get myself unboard. What are you guys doing? <laughs> Playing a word game. <laughs> Someone says a word and the other person says the first related word that comes to their mind. Want to play? Sure. We'll get in a triangle like this. Okay. Spider. Spider. No, you can't repeat the same word. Ah! Spider! We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. I'm Edison, and this is how I learned to face my fear of failure. <sighs> um, Dot? Don't mind me. <sighs> Duh. Sorry. I'm just gonna miss you so much. I know. I'm gonna miss you too. I'm glad that you'll get to see all of your old friends at Connect IQ. Me too. And I'll only be gone for a few short months. That's true. But I'm still gonna miss you. <sighs> um, Dad, your, your sighing is kind of distracting. Okay. How about a hug, then? Maybe later. I have work to do. That's right! Your farewell speech. Did you write it yet? Uh, um... Well, it's, uh... It's not quite finished. But you're close. Um... Yeah. Is it written with invisible ink? No. Um... Okay, so, so I can't write speeches? Okay, you remember the last speech I wrote? And this month's Connect MVP award goes to Edison! can't do speeches. But your Ed Talks are so good. Those are different. Okay, I'm, I'm afraid I'll mess up again. Whenever I feel that way, this is what I tell myself. When I'm afraid I'll fail, God will help me. When I'm afraid I'll fail, God will help me? Right. Just try saying it in your head whenever you feel like you can't do something. Here, I'll take over cleaning this so you can get back to your speech. Yeah, okay. Aren't you forgetting something? Oh, <laughs> right. So, now I've been asked to say some, some words. <laughs> words about, um, words. Edison? Uh oh, hi. Oh, hi Jaden, uh, welcome to the team. <laughs> Thank you. I'm glad to help fill in while you're working with Connect IQ. We came by to see if you had Jaden's link watch ready. Oh, yes, it's all synced up and ready to go. 
Okay, now you press this one to open up communication with the link, then you press this one to send. Um, you press this one to open up links that have already been sent, and then this one to open up notifications. It's all pretty much straightforward. Oh, uh, okay, and um, what does that button do? Um, Nothing yet. It's part of the upgrades I'll be working on for the link system. Mike asked if it could be used to order pizza. Dot asked if it could be used to order puppies. We're trying to keep an open mind about it. <laughs> That's so fun! <laughs> well, Edison, we won't take up any more of your time. I know that you have a speech to write. Are you sure? I mean, I can show Jane how to... Really, uh... Edison. She'll be fine. Okay. <sighs> What are you doing? Are, are you hurt? Nope. Don't mind me. I'm just stretching. If you want a hug before you leave today, I want to be ready to give you my best one. I, I can't write my speech. I know. I keep distracting you. I'll stretch somewhere else. Uh, no, it's just impossible to write. I imagine it would be like that. Have you tried using these instead? No. I just can't do it, okay? I'm, I'm scared I'll mess up again. I, I can't do it, Dot. Remember, when I'm afraid I'll fail, God will help me. Right, I know that, but it's just still scary. What if I mess up? Do you want me to help you write it? No, thank you, but this is something I need to write on my own. Okay. Okay, so whenever you have all the links attached, then you're ready to send the message, like this. Any questions? Uh, no, I don't think so. Great, then I'll leave you to it. Here's a list of the messages that need to go out. <gasps> My first transmissions! Well, have fun, and make sure you take your time while you get the hang of it, okay? Okay, thanks. You know, I'll, I'll just brainstorm. That's easy, right? So, um, farewell, thank you. I mean, um, farewell, you thank. I, I mean, um, you farewell, thank. You know, I'm just gonna work on the link upgrades instead. Wanted to check in with you. Jaden? Yes? Are you working on the transmission? Uh-huh. I'm just taking my time, like you said. <laughs> okay. Well, I may need you to work just a little bit faster. Are you okay? I'm afraid. Well, what are you afraid of? Messing up. I understand. There's a verse I think may help you. It comes from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 13. Say it with me like this. Isaiah 41, 13. Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God says to you. The Lord your God says to you. Do not fear. I will help you. Do not fear. I will help you. <laughs> this Bible verse helps us to remember that whenever we have something that we need to do and we're afraid of how it may turn out, we can trust that God will be there to help us. We don't have to do it alone. Thanks, Captain Ray. <laughs> You're welcome. Do you want me to stay? No. I want to try again. Okay. Wow, these improvements that Edison made to the link are really great. I mean, there's still no button for ordering puppies, but it'll do. <laughs> um, I know I'm still new here, but is that supposed to happen? Edison! 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 Edison!
Madison! Uh, uh, what? I messed up. I sent the wrong transmissions. I need your help. Okay, there. It's all fixed now. I just rerouted the transmission and sent a notice to the field office. <sighs> Thank you so much. I didn't know what to do. Is everything okay? I'm so sorry, Captain Ray. I sent the wrong transmissions, but Edison was able to fix it, though. He can do anything. No, I, I, I can't. I, I can't even write a speech. Probably can't improve the link either. What are you even talking about? You'll be great. Yeah, until the lights start flashing on and the alarms go off. I'm lost. Is this what the extra button is now going to be for? I was afraid I'd fail, and... I did. I thought God would help me like you said, Captain Ray. He will, and he does. Sometimes failure is just a part of it. Here, let me show you something from the Bible. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. is alive. Egypt was filled with Israelites. The new Pharaoh was afraid that the Israelites would become too powerful. So he made them slaves and treated them very badly. Pharaoh ordered that all baby Israelite boys had to be killed. One woman put her baby in a basket and hid him by the river's edge. His sister watched him. Pharaoh's daughter was bathing by the river. She found the baby and decided to keep him. His sister offered their mother's help to care for him. Pharaoh's daughter named him Moses. Moses grew up. One day, he saw an Egyptian beating an Israelite. Moses killed the Egyptian. Then he fled to Midian and was a shepherd for 40 years. Moses was watching his sheep on Mount Horeb. The voice of God spoke from a burning bush. My people are suffering, Moses. I have chosen you to free them. I can't, Moses cried. I'll help you, God promised. Throw down your staff, Moses did. It turned into a snake. When he picked it up, it was a staff again. Put your hand in your cloak, God said. Moses did. He looked. It was covered with disease. When he did it again, it was healed. Show Pharaoh that, God said. I'm not a good speaker, said Moses. I'll give you the words, God said. Your brother Aaron can help. So Moses went to tell Pharaoh to set the Israelites free. Moses failed the first time that he tried to stand up for God's people, but God called Moses to try again. Moses was afraid, but God promised to help him. God kept his promise to help Moses, and Moses got the chance to try again. <laughs> Failure doesn't mean that you give up or that God wasn't there. God will help you do the things he asks you to do. Thanks, Captain. If you'll excuse me, I have a speech to write. Yay! <laughs> Want to give it another try? Okay. Hi, my name is Edison, and I'm a part of Connect HQ. Today, I learned a great lesson. The Bible tells us this in the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 13. Say it with me, like this. Isaiah 41, 13. The Lord your God says to you, do not fear. I will help you. When there's something you need to do and you're afraid of how it might turn out, trust that God will help you. The first time Moses tried to stand up for God's people, he failed. But God called Moses to go out and try again. Moses was afraid, but God promised to go with him. 
Moses trusted God and was able to lead God's people out of slavery. Sometimes you might be afraid to do something or try something new because you're worried you will fail. And even though failure can and does happen, don't let your fear of failure stop you from trying. When you feel like saying, I can't, remind yourself that God can help you to feel less afraid. When I'm afraid I'll fail, God will help me. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. And Jaden, even though you're new here, I'd like to thank you for encouraging me to keep on pushing on. And last, but certainly not least, I'd like to thank you, Dot. I'm lucky to call you my friend. Edison? I think I'm ready for that hug now. Group hug! <laughs> hey, maybe this is what the extra button could be for. <laughs> Four score and seven years ago. Give me liberty or give me death. I have a dream. I'm gonna need a bigger boat. Sometimes we all have to do things that we think are impossible. But when we follow Jesus, he can make the impossible possible. If you're ready to have God's help, all you have to remember are the A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that choice today, be sure to talk about it with your parents or a leader you can trust. Well, there we go. We know that God sometimes calls us to do big things and maybe even just small things. And sometimes this kind of fear can get a hold of our heart where we believe that we just can't do it. There's no way that I can do this. Now, thankfully, we know that there is nothing in this world that we have to do all by ourselves. We can go to God. We can pray to him and ask him to help us, to give us the strength, the courage, the, ter the determination to do what he has called us to do. So thank you so much for joining us today. And just a reminder of our brand new resource we're making available called Kids Life at home. Now we're going to post a link, give that link to mom and dad to download this week's worksheet. There's also a fun game, a fun challenge I want you to take part of and send us photos if you can. So mom and dad can either download, follow the link, download the worksheet, or if mom and dad has the new life app, they can find it there. And if not, Monday on our Facebook page, New Life Woodbank, we'll also be posting the worksheet for this week that you can download. So keep an eye out for that. Thank you so much for joining us today and we'll see you again next week, same time, same place. God bless and goodbye.